Hey, everybody, what's going on? This is gonna be a bit of a different video considering we got Christmas coming up and all that good stuff. And I'm at the house. We're leaving the old girl up where I'm gonna park for today. I got all my stuff out of here if you can't tell by, uh, <laughs> excuse me, all the bedding and all of my clothes and crap that. I gotta take home to wash and uh, you know apparently I has a sexist wife uh, she believes that men can't do good laundry and she don't let me do laundry on my own anymore so she don't let me play with the new fancy washer and dryer I bought her a couple years ago so I guess uh, means her tour list just got longer sadly enough but Oh well, it is what it is. But I thought we'd come from a different perspective, you know, what it's like coming home and being home for home time. And, uh, you know, just the stuff that I do, you know, maybe get y'all to know me a little bit better on a personal level. So, um, if that's not something y'all are into, you can bounce. But this is just kind of like a, hey, this is my time off, my hobbies, uh, what I like to do kind of stuff. <clears throat> so, it's going to be kind of like just a little vlog deal and be a little uh be a little different compared to what we usually do and uh oh anyway <clears throat> so hopefully i hope everybody's home that wants to be home for christmas and i hope y'all who have plans for christmas and new year's are going to have wonderful christmas and new year's plans um drop a comment down below tell me what y'all are what y'all are doing for christmas and new year's whether you'll be celebrating with friends and family or by yourself i mean hey if you're celebrating christmas and new year's by yourself i'll probably be on the truck come new year's so maybe we might do a live feed and we can celebrate new year's together provided y'all heathens aren't all toasted from uh, all that eggnog and vodka and stuff that you know people drink these days but <clears throat> we'll see but until then, we're just going to get through here and get all this uh, stuff to the house and get it unloaded and take it inside and try not to wake the kids up because if I wake the kids up, my wife will beat me and she's a very scary thunder midget. So, um, <laughs> all right, y'all, wish me luck. Well, um, we just got our first L for the day. Stopped by my parts place. Couldn't remember if they were closed on Sundays or not. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> Apparently my uh, my uh, <laughs> tool and uh, parts people are closed on Sundays, so whatever I needed to get there, I guess it's gonna wait till Monday for my project. So either that or we'll see what we can do on Rock Auto, see if I can't find it cheaper. But usually I'd go through my guy parts guys that I get my uh, my truck parts through because they get they got really good prices. So um, dang it. Huh? Guess we're going home then. Tell everyone good morning, Thunder Midget. <laughs> face right now. <laughs> Say hello. Mm. Come on. Joey, get it out of my face. Oh, but I love you. All right, give me a kiss. <laughs> Be good wife. So you want to tell everyone why I can't do my own laundry? Cause you break my washers. <laughs> when was the last time I broke a washer? <laughs> the last time we ha we owned our own washer and dryer. So I, why so I, you do all the laundry because <laughs> you're gonna <laughs> break. <laughs> well, you heard it yourself. I wasn't lying. She doesn't let Should me do laundry. Shut up and go make coffee. <laughs> well, funny story. We're going back to the store. Uh, apparently the kids want some pizza rolls, and uh, we don't have no pizza rolls. And I left the keys in the house, so I'm gonna have to go back in the house and go get the pizza rolls. Or the, not the pizza rolls, but the keys. Man, look at that sun. Beautiful, beautiful day. So, all right, let's go to the store. All right, let's get in here. Let's get in the truck. This is the project truck. One I've been working on. I'm working on restoring. Got it running. Got it moving. And uh, we're doing good. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry, I dropped you. I'm trying to set you next to Snoopy here. And uh, I guess Snoopy don't like new visitors. But anyway, so yeah, just your basic, you know, 
old Ford. And what's this? It's got one of them Millennial Anti-Theft Devices. And I bet none of y'all know what those are. Drop a comment if you know what those are. So, all right, y'all. <laughs> Let's get this old girl to us. My local save a lot man these guys are awesome not only are their prices a little bit better than the most of the other places but i've delivered a lot of save a lot freight it's really eh, it's pretty fresh but anyway my little secret to keeping them kids happy not only do you get pizza rolls but man you gotta get to see these mantinas rising crust pizzas they're better than the pizza places around here and the kids love them so all right let's get this old girl back home and i can't be the only one who's got weird kids who make faces at you in the window when you come home yep are them good <coughs> them some good pizza rolls huh <coughs> yeah nom noms <laughs> get it buddy that a boy <laughs> yeah <coughs> pizza rolls though yeah, pizza rolls for the man. Week. Look at this. It's freaking raining on Christmas. I've never had it rain on Christmas before, y'all. This is so strange. I mean, I could see if I was down in Texas, maybe Alabama, Arizona, you know, somewhere out there. Even Arizona gets snow on Christmas. But, it, y'all. This is crazy. Oh, man. But, yeah. I absolutely ridiculous can't take the kids out to go play with their new toys if it's raining dang it y'all well everybody it's been a fun little week um we're gonna go ahead and cut this here because it's gonna be the last day i got to film until i get back on the truck um it's kind of like a short little hey this is kind of a back look into my life and things i got going on and right now i'm in my shop got my car in here getting her all ready and tuned up ready for this road trip we got tomorrow um which leads me to one of the points i want to talk about which what sucks about being a solo owner operator with a truck note now granted you know i've got money put back and things of that nature and i can be able to still pay the truck note and everything and things of that nature but I'm the sole provider for my family and we've got, you know, everything relies and revolves around my income and what I bring into the family. So when things happen, like what's coming up, my wife's got a major surgery coming up. So I'm going to go, you know, I've been helping her all week. We got through Christmas and all that stuff and I'm going to help her get through and do all the stuff that she's got to do and get prepped and get ready, which is why I'm working on the car, making sure it's roadworthy and everything for tomorrow. And, but when, you know, you got all of your income wrapped around one truck and you're a one truck operation, man, it sucks sometimes when, you know, the whole family has to realize and look and go, huh, well, we got this coming up and, we got this, this, and this we got to do, and I got to go through this, and the wife's got surgery, and, you know, we got X amount of kids. It takes a lot of money to run a household like that and keep this operation going. So, you know, luckily enough, we've got a good support system, so I've got people coming in to help my wife while she's recovering. So that way I can get back on the road and I can go make some more money, and, you know, I'm just going to come home more frequently to be able to be around and help more, and if I can run some local stuff, we're going to do that. We're not going to be doing no long haul stuff, so we're just going to try to keep it regional for a little bit and come back home on the weekends, but tell you what, ah, I'm a wreck today, but uh, that wife of mine, man, she's a trooper, so I'm proud of her, but yeah, 
Um, if you're going to get your own truck, man, think about stuff like this because uh, it ain't all rainbows and blowjobs like everybody thinks it is. There's a lot of a lot of responsibility and a lot of nastiness that comes with it. So just got to make sure to work it out and uh, do what you got to do. So on that note, Happy New Year, everybody. Drop a comment below. Tell me how your Christmas was. And uh, that's going to be it for this one. So I'll see y'all next time. I'm going to get back to working on this car. Make sure we're good to go for tomorrow. I love y'all.